Okay, I'm on a walk, y'all. So this video is going to be about going the opposite way. So when I say going the opposite way, from narcissists and sociopaths. Okay, so what prompted me to think of this was I just saw a situation up ahead and and I'm not saying all animals are bad, right? But I just followed my instinct. I could tell that the mom and dad of the dog was working with him or her trying to, it looks like take care of some potty issues, right? Um, as far as getting the puppy or dog to be potty trained. So I made a choice to, for one, give them their privacy. Okay. And I went the opposite way. Okay. Now, what if I would have went that way and the dog was not secure properly or secured properly and the puppy or dog took that the wrong way and just broke a loose and attacked me. Okay. So what I'm saying is you got to work on doing this with narcissists and sociopaths too. I'm currently dealing with a situation that I am resolving. It's, it's getting better. However, when there's any situation that involves some form of control, Normally, there are some narcissists and sociopaths, maybe not always a sociopath, but somebody's at a minimum narcissistic. So what they do is they, of course, violate boundaries of the person that really has the rights, right? So this video is also for me too, because I am working on learning to go the opposite way. However, there can be situations where you can't just simply do that because the liability is there and someone needs to get to the doctor. Okay, just say, for example, if you're taking care of an elderly person in some cases. So I'm not saying in all cases go the opposite way, but in that case, you go the opposite way by handling it legally. Get your lawyer involved, get letters written up, get the courts involved, get a good judge involved, okay? But at a minimum, you can save yourself from a lot of toxic situations by going the opposite way. It's simple. Like in that situation when I saw the puppy and the owners working with the puppy to potty train the puppy, I just simply showed empathy, gave them their privacy, and at the same time, protected myself. And I just, I don't even think the mom and dad of the pet even realized that I was there. I just went the opposite way. Um, and that's just what I did, you know, and got out of that situation. So nobody got affected, myself, the pet owners, or me, nobody gets hurt. So just work on doing that, okay? It's such a simple thing to do. Don't always have to think so much before you do it, just do it. Just, um, hello, um, just do it, just walk away. Going the opposite way, y'all, will fix a lot of your problems. There will be so many people that if they had done this, wouldn't be incarcerated right now over some narcissist or sociopathic person, okay? So just keep this in mind. So I'm gonna end it with this. What are you gonna do from now on? You're going to go the opposite way. Even if that means you go into your lawyer's office or you contact your attorney, you're still getting away from the situation from the narcissist, okay? Anyway. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I love y'all so, so much. Thank you. Go the opposite way, y'all. And avoid that conflict and that chaos and that disappointment. Okay? Thank you. Again, please like, share, and subscribe.